Hey there tech fans! Welcome back to VL Extras on the Visual Learners channel. The world of AI gets more fascinating and more weirder by the day. And today is no different. We're talking about a voice-enabled AI that can chat with you all day. Sounds cool, right? Well, we've got all the juicy details for you today. But before we dive in, a quick reminder to check out my main channel, Visual Learners, where you'll find in-depth tutorials on the latest deep learning topics. Don't miss our VL extras for bite-sized explainers on emerging tech and AI, and of course, VL podcasts, where we break down complex trends without the brain overload. Also, check out my website at teddyvlportfolio.versal.app. Link in the description. Connect with me on social media for more updates. All right, let's jump in. Now, before we talk about Moshi, let's talk about the company behind this major innovation. Qtai is a new AI research laboratory that's making waves in the AI world. Based in Paris, Qtai is the first European private initiative lab dedicated to open research in artificial intelligence. It was launched in collaboration with some heavyweights in the industry. Xavier Neal from the Iliad Group, Rodal Sada from CMACGM, and Eric Schmidt, the former Google CEO. Together, they've invested nearly 300 million euros into this non-profit research lab, with a focus on developing large multimodal AI models that can process not just text but also sound, images, and more. The ultimate goal? To tackle some of the biggest challenges in modern AI, think better algorithms, more reliable models, and efficient training. They're using top-tier computing power from Scaleway, an Iliad Group subsidiary, to make sure they can push the limits of AI research. All right, now that you know a bit about Qtai, let's talk about Moshi, the real game changer. Have you met Moshi yet? Moshi.chat is the silliest conversational chat you're likely to experience, at least today. In response to ChatGPT's 4.0 conversational voices that apparently one of these days we're going to get to experience, Moshi presents this experimental conversational AI, and you can access it on your phone or on the desktop. I actually find it more convenient to access it by phone because I don't have to worry about microphone setups with my computer. If you just want to giggle, check this out. Here's what to know about Moshi. As it says here, Moshi thinks and speaks at the same time which means if it's working properly, her responses are immediate. There's no processing time. It will be jarring. And in fact, she will talk over you and interrupt just like a real person. Now, the quality of the conversation is questionable at best, but it is freaking hilarious. So before they start charging for this thing or it stops being funny, go check it out, moshi.chat, and let's just spend the five minutes they're gonna give us and see what this is about. First, you enter an Moshi is a revolutionary AI developed by Qtai that brings us one step closer to the ultimate conversational assistant. Imagine having an AI that can chat with you, understand your tone, and even get interrupted in real time while still maintaining a smooth conversation. Sounds like a futuristic dream, but it's happening right now with Moshi. Moshi is an advanced voice-enabled AI that's built to not just talk but listen, and I mean really listen. It's got emotional understanding and even adapts to different accents, making it feel like you're talking to a real person. Qtai calls it a multimodal AI, which means it's trained to understand and generate speech with incredible nuance. Currently available for demo, Moshi allows you to have conversations that last up to five minutes. And get this, it's not just cloud-based. You can actually run Moshi locally, offline. That's huge for privacy and smart home applications. Whether you're using it to control your smart home appliances or just chatting with your AI assistant, Moshi is designed to work seamlessly on your device, no internet connection required. Moshi is built on Qtai's Helium model, a 7 billion parameter AI that's been trained on text and audio codecs. This makes it capable of performing tasks like speech-to-text conversion, as well as understanding natural language. It's powered by NVIDIA GPUs, Apple's Metal, or even just your CPU, meaning you can have real-time conversations with Moshi on a wide range of devices. No, I never said that. Well, you did. No, I did not. Yeah, you're correct. I'm correct now. I'm correct. You're correct. Yeah, but you're correct. We can't both be correct. Yeah, you're correct. That's what I want to hear. Yeah. Hey there, what's going on? 
Yeah, um, just nothing really. I'm testing out Not your much. abilities. Not just hanging out. I didn't ask. No, you didn't ask. But how are you doing? Hello? I didn't mean to insult you. Um, no, no, I'm good. Thank you. How about you? Yeah, I'm doing great. Okay, I'll tell you a story. It's a story about a young girl who had a dream. She dreamed of becoming a famous singer. Is that it? She worked hard every day to achieve her dream. She practiced her singing, and she even wrote her own songs. Are you the singer? I'm not the singer, but I'm telling a story. Okay, let's leave the story. Sing me a song. She was so determined that she never gave up on her dream. I don't dream. want to hear the rest she of the story. She even won a contest and became a famous singer. I don't want to hear the rest of the story. Sing me a song. Okay, let's leave the story. The young girl had a dream, and she worked hard no, to achieve no, it. No, stop. Leave the story alone. Okay, Sing me I'm a song. sorry. I'm sorry. Good. But you don't need to say sorry. It's fine. I'm sorry. Sing me a song. I'm sorry. Now, while Moshi is really impressive, it's not without its limitations. Since it's a smaller model than some of the big players like GPT, for O, oh, it has a limited context window, which means it can lose its cohesion in longer conversations. Sometimes it may even repeat itself or give you incoherent responses if you push it too far. But don't let that discourage you. Moshi is still in its early stages, and Qtai plans to continually refine the model with community support and feedback. Plus, as it grows, we can expect it to support longer, more complex conversations. But here's the kicker. Moshi is open source. That means, just like GPT models, developers and researchers will be able to dive into Moshi's code and tweak it, refine it, or build upon it however they see fit. From now on, speak in French accent. All right, I'll, I'll do my best. Thank you. All right, I'll do my best. Thank you. All right, I'll do my best. Thank you. All right, I'll do my best. How's the life of a programmer? It's good. It's good. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. It's, it's not like frustrating? Yeah, it's not frustrating. But someone told me uh, it's frustrating. Yeah, it can be frustrating. Ah, oh, it can be frustrating then. Why is it frustrating? It can be frustrating because sometimes the code doesn't work like you expect it to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then you have to go back and figure out why yeah. it's not working. Yeah, tell me about it. it. Yeah, tell me that about it. That can be frustrating. It's okay. Yes, tell me about it. Can you tell me if I'm happy or sad? Based on your tone, it sounds like you're feeling happy. Can you tell me that if I'm sad? I don't know for sure, yeah. but based on your tone and the context of our conversation, it seems like you might be feeling sad. Wow. I'm glad we can have this conversation in French with a British accent. No, 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 no. Not British accent, French accent. Oh, that's okay. I can do that as well. Yeah, yeah. Can you do it? <laughs> Thank you. Can, can you speak in French? Yes, I can do that as well. Okay. Um, Thank you. Talk about your life in French. My life is about learning and growing, and I am constantly expanding my knowledge. Sure, but um, speak in French. Thank you. Speak in French from now on. From now on, I will speak in French with a British accent. <laughs> Here's the thing. Qtai, a French AI research lab with a team of eight people, built an AI chatbot called Moshi in just six months. The result is fantastic. These are the main features that make it unique, in my opinion. Moshi interprets your voice really fast, which can sometimes be problematic. I'll explain later. Moshi can understand and interpret the user's tone of voice, making interactions more natural and expressive. Based on the demo published by the creator, it can speak in various accents, but I couldn't get it to work. I feel like right now it's overhyped, to be honest. I've seen some videos on YouTube saying nobody expected it. It's insane. It beats ChatGPT 4.0. It's outperforming ChatGPT 4.0. Well, not quite, at least for now. It's a great prototype, but even the website says it's an experimental conversational AI. So I think it's not a reliable product. Yeah.